And we will mute all. And this is an order for Compline on Thursday evening, January 12th, 2023, beginning on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. Let's take a moment to quiet our hearts and our minds. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Turning to page 640, we'll be reading Psalm 40, verses 1 through 11. We'll read these together. I waited patiently upon the Lord. He stooped to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the desolate pit, out of the mire and clay. He set my feet upon a high cliff and made my footing sure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many shall see and stand in awe and put their trust in the Lord. Happy are they who trust in the Lord. They do not resort to evil spirits or turn to false gods. Great things are they that you have done, O Lord, my God. How great your wonders and your plans for us. There is none who can be compared with you. O oh, that I would make them known and tell them, but they are more than I can count. In sacrifice and offering, you take no pleasure. You have given me ears to hear you. Burnt offering and sin offering, you have not required. And so I said, Behold, I come. In the roll of the book, it is written concerning me. I love to do your will, will, O my God. Your law is deep in my heart. I proclaimed righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I did not restrain my lips. And that, O Lord, you know. Your, righteous, your righteousness I have not hidden in my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your deliverance. I have not concealed your love and faithfulness from the great congr congregation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Turning over to page 132. May the God of peace who brought again the dead who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth, keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And now we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Turning to page 134. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now if you would like to unmute and we'll offer up prayers of intercession and thanksgiving, either silently or aloud. Mm -hmm. For Sarah, our daughter who has COVID in San Francisco. Norm and Melinda. Doris. Claire. Pray for Claire and for Katie. Angela and Jeff with COVID. We give thanks for our Holy Cross staff in the conference center, Margaret. We thank you for Alan and Pan. Pray for safe travels for Beth and Ed. Thank you. Pray for those out tonight. We have several trees down in the area and electrical lines down. Pray for the first responders and electrical workers who are out in this weather taking care Amen. of the problem. Amen. And for those who have no shelter. Amen. Amen. Pray for the homeless in San Francisco and in the California areas that are so afflicted by the force. Susan, Alan, Debbie. Lord, we offer up all of these prayers in your holy name. Amen. <clears throat> Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia not Easter season, back up. Let us bless the Lord. <laughs> Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. <laughs>